with G Pepper Tree and today I will be showing you this new planner that I bought and you're probably thinking okay G you're crazy because in your last video you just custom made this planner and it worked perfectly for you and yes it does work perfectly for me and it's still working for me and I'm still using it however I'm testing this one out and I went and bought this one at the store uh, specifically just to test it because of its binding system and to play around with the um, layout of the inside pages to see how I like them as well. If you haven't seen my previous video, which is the part two version of the Live the Dream Planner, um, you might want to hop over and view that one also. And uh, just so you know exactly the formatting that I used to create a layout that would work for my life and so with this one I bought this from Michaels it's also available at Hobby Lobby and this is the Create 365 the happy planner and it's made by Mombi which is the acronym for me and my big ideas and I've always been a fan of Mombi stickers and Mombi um, little scrapbook kits that uh, they sell at the uh, craft stores. And so when they released this planner, I was excited because, you know, the designs of Mombi are always right up there. So I was excited because it was Mombi. And the second reason why I was excited was because of this kind of binding system. Now, I've seen this kind of binding system at Staples before. And with this binding system, uh, these are just discs. And the two benefits of having a disc binding system is because, um, for one, they're flexible, just like regular uh, wire binding, where you can fold over the notebook or the planner on itself, and it saves space. And the second reason is because Unlike a spiral notebook, you have the flexibility to remove pages and add pages and rearrange pages. So it works like a spiral notebook and a three ring binder. For this whole next year, I will be working off of my Live the Dream Planner. But at the same time, I will be doubling my work with... Uh, transferring and just playing around with this and like transferring some of my stuff from my Live the Dream Planner into this to just play with it and see how the durability goes. The test is will it hold up and I've had it for over two weeks now and I would say that it does hold up pretty well. So this is an 18 month planner. You buy it and it starts in the month of July right here. And it goes all the way through 2016, December 2016. However, I will be removing a whole portion of next year, the entire 2016. And so my planner will be a whole lot thinner. I mean, look how thin that is compared to if it was the whole thing. But I do plan to add in pocket pages and different sections that I need. Now for the monthly intro view, it starts off with your uh, three month view right here, your previous, your current, and your following month. You can jot down your July birthdays, any special events, important dates, don't forget section, your July goals, and then the popular observances for the month of July. And as far as this intro page, it's a cardstock weight because it's meant for um, the tabs. And it doesn't come laminated, but I did laminate this myself using a letter size uh, label sheet that is a glossy label sheet. And I just cut the label sheets into rectangles that were 1 inch in height by 2.375 inches in width. And I just folded it over from front to back and trimmed off around um, these curvy contour lines right here. 
and I did that with my Fiskars swivel blade. Now this swivel blade it is called swivel blade because it does swivel. If you can see it swiveling if I don't cut myself while showing how it swivels. And Fiskars does have two versions of this uh, style blade. Um, and one of them doesn't swivel and this one swivels but it's so simple to just trace around the contour lines and it just it just cuts it and you do have to get used to the control of it because it does swivel around but once you're used to it it works like a charm I love it anyways this is cardstock weight like I said and then the rest of the pages are text weight and as far as text weight this is a pretty good um, thickness for text weight if I were to guess, I would guess that this is a 32 pound text weight. And after that, it just goes into your weekly spread. I will show these weekly spread instead because I have sticky notes all on the other one and it might look distracting. So the weekly spread goes from a Monday through a Sunday, which I do like that kind of layout because I like to see my weekends together. However, the disappointing thing is that on your monthly view, it shows Sunday through Saturday. So your weekends are now on opposite ends of the spread. And I wish that it was consistent throughout the whole planner where the monthly and weekly view have the same, um, ha have the same setup of, you know, either Sunday through Saturday or just Monday through Sunday. It doesn't matter, just keep it consistent. That's what I would like to see. As for this right here, the June insert didn't come um, with the with the um, planner itself. They did sell extension packs. However, I did not know about the extension packs when I purchased this planner. So I created my own inserts for June. And for my June inserts, I chose this Dear Lizzie designer paper. And the reason why I chose this one was because it just reminded me of childhood when it was summer break and I would remember watching my mom hang the laundry on the clothesline and it was always so whimsical to see the bed sheets fly in the wind and um, it just brought a lot of childhood memories back. So I wanted to be able to recreate memories for my children, um, not necessarily the same memories that I have, but just to create memories for them so that they would remember um, their summer breaks as a fun time instead of wasting it in front of the TV and um, playing video games. So that's kind of no, that, that's kind of the theme, and uh, I went ahead and carried that theme over to my monthly spread uh, using the pennants to uh, stamp in for June and doing it all on clotheslines, and. Um, so I went ahead and inserted all the important events that are coming up and little inspirations as needed. And then I created the weekly spread. And even though I, like I mentioned before, I would prefer if it was just Monday through Sunday and then Monday through Sunday, I did keep the same format just so that I can see how it feels like to work with this kind of system where it flip-flops between the monthly formatting and the weekly formatting. As far as these header sections, it says Monday afternoon, I'm mean not Monday, sorry, morning, afternoon, and evening. And although I don't plan on a timeline of any sort, I did leave these headers on just to see how it would be like to customize my own headers. And I know a lot of people cover it with stickers or washi tape, and they are very, very thin as far as, um, the concern with dimension however if you do layer washi tape on top of washi tape pages after pages it will bulk up I mean this is just layers of washi tape against each other and so you will get some sort of bulking at the end of the year and I wanted to see how I would feel with that I mean I, I would just prefer if the headers read exactly what I wanted or if it was blank so that I can just stamp it in or write it in but I will see how it works out for me and if I can live with it or not. My second video for uh, Live the Dream Planner, you will see that I have this handy little pullout sheet where I can see my monthly view of the calendar and then I can write down my monthly goals or my monthly mission and then come back at the end of the month and write my reflections. And then on the opposite end, I would have my projects for the month which would help me 
uh, plan my details and make sure that I get everything done like all the um, little details of one project I can just track it all on one sheet but then remind myself on my weekly sheet and at the end of the month I can just pull out my month of the previous month and transfer any project that wasn't completed and I would just make that transfer once a month so that's what I added with this one however I just did it as a cardstock insert and um, with this it just goes with the same formatting and as far as my mission section for the month and my reflection that's on the bottom i just left this blank well, it was blank but i just left it blank for my mission and reflection page and as far as my mission page for the month of june my whole theme was to preserve the sweet life and what better way to preserve than in, in a mason jar right so i got this mason jar from it's a stamp and die cut uh, set from Sizzix and I just stamped it with stays on ink because this is um, vellum right here it's a blush pink vellum and this is an iridescent vellum so you can see just faintly some little iridescent sparkles you can't really see it on camera but you can see it in person but I made this one removable because I will be reflecting and I will be adding a photo or a saying or a memory in here. But then as far as my June's mission, I wrote down some things that I wanted to be able to accomplish with my children because they're on summer break now. And so I wanted us to have some Hmong lesson to, for them to learn our Hmong language. And um, I will be teaching that. And we'll be planting mint together, having devotional time. And I will still continue with reading and writing and art i didn't want us to forget that just because it's summer break and right here i wanted them to write to their cousins snail mail version only and um we will be visiting a butterfly trail and uh just a reminder to make memories and so i can write this down on a list a to-do list and have check boxes but I wanted this to be more of a, a visual representation of what my June should feel like or should look like so it should be fun and whimsical with butterflies and paper airplanes flying out and it should be um, sweet and that's why you see these all uh, that's why you see all these candy die cuts from uh, the same set of Sizzix and so you will see this is all blank right here and that's so that I can come back in and write my reflections and add photos of the memories for the month and um, also put in a memory behind this vellum piece. Subscribe so you can see how I'm going to uh, really just make sure that I do direct my schedule. This is all about planning and all about managing so that's how I'm going to be planning and I'm going to be obviously planning with a little bit of fun and craftiness because I do like the fun and craftiness but what I'm trying to achieve here is um, a harmony between my artsy side and my nerdy side because I do like both sides so uh, join me in on this adventure and I'll see you guys next time bye